All right, last one. This is part D of the problem 3.15. So we just got to get the global XY stiffness matrix. Hopefully after this, they do get a little bit more complicated, but let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is the matrix for stiffness for these types of problems, right? We got to get the global XY stiffness matrix. Um, and it's uh, the C's are cosine, the S's are sines. If you've seen the other videos, you know that, right? Um, U1, V1, it's a XY coordinate for the first node, and then U2, V2 for the second node. So technically, yeah, there's only two nodes, but now it is a four by four matrix. Um, we all, well, I like to start these problems off like this. It's your elements, right? In this case, we only have one. Uh, let me, we're gonna go ahead and draw a table, okay? Just like that. <clears throat> so it's element one, right? And the reason I do a table is because sometimes you have like three elements, four elements. And you'll see it in the other examples that I do later, but um, in this case, it's just one bar. So that angle, don't get confused, right? They switched it up on us. Technically, this is still the positive x axis, so it kind of, it's still like this, right? A perfect regular axis shifted up 20 degrees. It's always with respect to the x-axis so that's 20 degrees for theta it's not negative 20 okay um so we got to get the cosine and the sine of that so cosine of theta of 20 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and round these up to 0.94 cosine and sine to save space and then sine is 0 0.34 and when you square them uh, you're going to get 0 0.883. Again, that's uh, from the calculator after I did cosine 20. I didn't do cosine of 0.94, so this might be a little different if you do cosine of this. All right, so same thing, right? Sine squared, you do sine of 20, square that, you'll get 0 0.117. And finally, if you do cosine times sine, uh, you will get 0 0.320. All right, um, we need one more thing, right? EA over L, right? Um, that's gonna be 70 times two divided by one. That is 35 times 10 to the fifth, because this is 10 to the nine, this is negative four. So that is, actually, did I do that right? Oh no, it's my bad, 140 divided by one. Oh snap, I divided. So it's 140 times 10 to the fifth. newton per meter all right so we could go ahead and assemble the matrix right uh stiffness matrix is equal to 140 times 10 to the fifth give yourself some nice room u1 let's do v1 u2 and v2 then we got u1 got v1 u2 and v2 all right so plug in the numbers right that's all we got to do we got c squared s squared and cs that's what the matrix consists of so we got c squared s squared c squared s squared so that is i probably should get myself some more room ah whatever 0 0.883 all right super small um 0 0.117 0 0.883 and 0 0.117 okay then we got cs negative cs and cs so we got 0 0.320 negative 0 0.320 and 0 0.320 um next we got negative c squared negative s squared so negative c is negative 0 0.83883 if you don't know what I'm writing, just, I don't feel like erasing, just look at the numbers and where they go in right now. Uh, and negative S squared is negative 0 0.117. Finally, negative CS is negative 0 0.32. And that's pretty much it. Sorry, I wrote it a little small, but it's symmetrical. So this 0 0.320 goes here. This negative 0 0.883 goes here. You know what? It's really bothering me, so I'll just 
can go ahead and erase it and redo it. There we go. Um, negative 0 0.32. Now this negative 0 0.32 goes here. Man, it's a little tight, but it's all good. Negative 0 0.117 and then 0 0.320. I just got these numbers and followed the row column thing, right? So this one goes here, 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 and this one goes here. So that's all it is, right? That's the matrix. That's the answer right there. Um, I think I saw a solution in the book. Um, they put 0 0.883 all across. Um, this should be 0 0.117 and this should be 0 0.117. So the book is wrong, just FYI. Don't always trust it. But yep, there you go.